morning keto followers well the time is now it is 3 30 and i am on my way to the city for an awesome runway show of course i'm going to keep you guys updated throughout the day I might even do a little live feed for you guys behind the scenes sneaky previews um, my eyes are okay it did feel a bit sticky this morning but i washed it out with hot water and salt and of course added my eye drops from the chemist so i've got an hour drive to the massive place secret location where this is being held as it only is vip tickets sold only god I am so lost right now this place is massive the guys like just go left and left and left again you'll see the parking left and left oh my god all right so I'm here I finally found the parking bays um, we just got told to park anywhere so I'm just gonna park right here and yeah it is 10 to 5 so I'm running a bit late because you know I did get lost as usual because I never travel to the city it is massive here um, but yeah I'm feeling good my stomach's a bit hungry but I think that's because I'm nervous and because you know so much excitement going on and also I've got to be careful today not to overindulge because they do look after the models really well and they normally have a big spread of you know um, high powered adrenaline drinks like Red Bull or V. Um, they've got snacks, fruit, chocolate, so much chocolate guys. There is going to be so much chocolate here because they think chocolate gives us energy so we can stay awake for the whole runway show. So I've got to stay away from the snacks table. I've brought my own snacks. I've brought my own sugar free stevia chocolates. Um, so huh, the time has come. My eyes feels good. It's a bit sore this morning but probably because I've only had five hours sleep but what can we do? My day started at 3 a.m. and if I do go to the massive after party, my day's not going to finish till 1 a.m. tomorrow.
guys. So this is the final look. I don't know if you can see. But as you can see, they're already on stage. So excuse the upset face. But because my stylist was a fussy pain in the butt and didn't allow enough time, I now cut it on. Sitting in the middle of one of the biggest casinos in Australia, eating chop mint, chop mint ice cream and caramel ice cream. Let me fill you guys in. And let me say, this isn't the best look to be sitting in a million dollar plus hotel casino. Slicked, oily, greasy, conditioned hair in clothes that I've worn at 3am this morning. But what a ride it has been today. So, just about to go on runway. You guys saw the dress rehearsals, you saw the makeup, you saw the tedious hair job that they did, the curls, um, dreadlocks, and all that was weaved into my head within two hours. We walked downstairs to get on the runway, and the two designers from Amsterdam, who I really don't want to talk about right now, looked at my hair and thought, no, no, it's not what we want. We want different, different curls. We've got to try and fix it. So I spent another 10 minutes trying to fix my hair, which really isn't even my hair. It's the um, extensions that they glued into my head. Anyway, so before the show went on, they didn't even have the guts to say to my face, we're not happy with your hair, sorry, we're not using you. They made up some hurrah of, oh, you need to go back upstairs to the makeup room for a minute. Okay, I walk up there and then I'm confronted by one of the stage managers who say, sorry, they just didn't want to use you because they weren't happy with your hair. So, thanks for having the balls, guys, to come and talk to me and say you don't want me on your run runway. But no, you guys know me, I'm stubborn as, mainly because I'm a Taurus. I stood my ground and I said, no, I'm not going to be locked in a makeup room while the show's on because they were too gutless to talk to me. So I marched back down there and I said to the designers, you tell me to my face why I'm not going on the runway. Um, they got embarrassed, they walked off, they told me not to make a scene. And you know, I've been doing modeling for over three years now. I am not a diva. But for the two designers who travel all around the world doing hair and deal with makeup, uh, models every day, it pissed me off that they didn't have the guts to say, do you know what, we're not happy with your hair that we couldn't properly design ourselves. So sorry, we're not going to put you on the runway. I have been here since 3 a.m. For them to tell me at 12 p.m. before I was about to get on the stage that they don't want me really pissed me off. Um, they reckon they had, they didn't have enough time to do my hair. They reckon that it wasn't the vision they had in their head. Meanwhile, they've had six months in planning this and they still couldn't get it right. So. The six models that were supposed to go on the runway, including myself, was then left to five models. And who knows how the show went because I got whisked away back to backstage, back up to the makeup room to, you know, just be told to sit there and wait till the show's finished. So I'm not a happy camper at all. Um, in saying that, they did give me my lunchbox on the way out. Let's have a look what's in that. A chicken and salad baguette, rice paper roll, an apple, a brownie, and some cookies. Wow, thanks for that. But yeah, at the end of the day, I have nothing against Kuno, the hair brand. They've always been good to me. The girls have been lovely, but to work with a bunch of designers who had no respect for the models at all, who couldn't, you know, be professional and be straight up and speak to me, because I am a human, I'm not just a walking coat hanger as they think we are, um, this really pissed me off today. 
the designers that I know I will never work with again because simply they just had no morals at all. Yeah, fair enough, they're from another country, but they still speak and understand English. So there was no excuse for their laziness today and their rudeness in treating me how they treated me. Um, yeah, so I was pissed off. I was so angry, I was crying. They wanted me to go home straight away. I had like 40 um, tangled dreadlocks at the top of my head, you guys have seen. And I had seven pieces of glued hair extensions glued to my scalp. And they wanted me to rip the hair extension out and go home. Lucky there was two amazing hairdressers there today who honestly were amazing, Chrissy and Sam I think it was. They helped me, they pulled all the hair extensions out. My head is so sore, it's throbbing right now. I have a massive headache. Um, I bawled my eyes out while they were ripping these glued hair extensions out. And then there was, yeah, like 20 dreadlocks that had to detangle and unpin from my head. So I'm not a happy camper right now. I'm gonna sit here and eat this ice cream. Yeah, it's not keto friendly and it's not gonna be good for me. I'm gonna be filming it tomorrow, but at the moment, instead of driving home angry, that's the other thing. I drove all the way here today and they just went, sorry, we don't want you. It's a model thing. Yeah, it's a model thing, but I have been a model before. This is not the first time people. I know how runway works. Don't treat me like I'm an idiot. Anyway, I'm so angry right now. I don't really want to discuss any more of that. But I must say they said to me, what can we do? You know, it's not our fault. The designer, what the designer says, the designer does. So at least I actually got to sit down with a professional photographer and get a few snaps of me. My eyes were probably that bloodshot and from crying. They probably look hideous photos anyway. Amazing gelato from this shop that I've wanted to try for the last couple of years. And I thought this is the only time I'm going to be in Sydney. This is probably the only time I'm ever going to walk past this shop. And you, I've got time to kill, obviously. There's no massive after party for me now. And there's no runway show. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my gelato. So sorry for the down, the downward video, guys. But, you know, being open and honest. I'm having a really shit day. I'm feeling really shit. My head is killing me. I have a throbbing headache. My hair is probably that matted. It's going to take me five washes to unmat my hair and to put softness back into it. And yeah, just not impressed at all with how today went. But as I say, the show must go on. All right guys, so it's now 4.30 in the afternoon. I've been going since my alarm went off at three o'clock this morning. I'm buggered. I ate that ice cream and do you know what? It was such a disappointment. It tasted disgusting. It tasted salty and sweet and didn't even taste like gelato. So disappointed. It made my mood even worse now. I didn't even eat at all. Anyway, so I'm now doing the long drive back home, which is about an hour and a half. And yeah, this video has been pretty much a downer vlog. But also an interesting vlog to show you that you can go through so much hard work, um, getting up early, you know, trying to eat healthy all, right, all week, um, going through hell through bobby pins to massive amounts of hair being ripped out by glue and extensions, and you still don't make it on the runway. So on a lighter note, it's the long weekend. I have tomorrow off, and I'm going to make it one hell of an awesome long weekend. I'm going to go home now, and I'm going to make zucchini pasta, and I'm going to eat as much zucchini carbonara bacon and thick and cream as I want, because I deserve it. I'm bloody tired, and I'm going to sit back, play with the kids, and then hopefully when they go to bed early tonight, I'm going to watch a lot of episodes of Vampire Diaries while eating cheese. Keto on guys, that has been my sorry and sad vlog today. Sorry also to everyone that I said I was going to do a live feed from backstage. I only could do a little one because they were so behind schedule and everyone was so stressed and everyone was running around and panicking and it was just a very messed up busy day. So I promise to make it up to you throughout the week. I might even sit down with you guys one day and do um, a Q&A just so you know I can contact and connect with you guys all around the world one-on-one -on -one. i love having a laugh with you guys so i hope everyone else is having a great australia long weekend um celebrating the queen's birthday so yeah 
I'll be right. I just need sleep, I think. I just need to go home now. Hopefully, you don't get stuck in traffic to sleep this all off and to hopefully not have too much matted hair for no reason. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. so wonderful in your dress I love your hair like that The way it falls on the side of your neck